strategize ko na lang yung snatch game ko. Elements ang hahanapin ko mm -hmm. para maging funny ako. Yes, yes. So, that's why I chose also Dr. Abel. At ba't ba pumunta ako doon? Oo. Oh, oh. Ang layo nung sa natin. Oo, oh, oh. babalik ko tayo sa episode. Ano sa ako pumunta. <laughs> Good luck talaga sa pag-edit yun yung show na to. <laughs> Day 2 na po kami ng shoot, by the way. <laughs> Hello, hi, mabuhay! It's your Filipina diva, Marina Summers, and I'm back for another episode of the show that launched a thousand online conversations. We're a viral sensation, what can I say? <laughs> this is The Stopover, the unofficial, unauthorized, but ultimately still unbothered recap show of Drag Race Philippines. Welcome back to another episode of The Stopover, the controversial show that cultivates nothing but love. And this week, it's all about love and family. So for this week's guest, lalayo pa ba ako? Siyempre, doon na ako sa pamilya ko, sa kinanununuan ko. <laughs> she is the former stylist of Cleopatra. <laughs> she introduced drag to the caveman. At dati rin po siyang dinosaur. <laughs> she is the true icon of season one of Drag Race Philippines. The one and only, the incomparable, Silhouette! Hello! <laughs> Kailangan ba akong bumate? Yes! Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Kinakabahan ako, baka bigla akong ganunin. No? <laughs> And then, nagpipigil lang ako ng tawa kasi nga yung pa-intro mo oh, eh. Diyos diba? ko, no? Siyempre, patanda ng patanda. opportunity ko na to para bumawi. <laughs> How have you been? Oh my God, it's so nice to see you. Mm. Thank you for saying yes, of first course. and foremost. Yes, of course, sa'yo pa ba? Hindi ako mag-yes. Pero nag-isip ako nung una. Oo, oh, oh, oh. sabi ko, ano ba naman ito? Mm. Hmm? Game na naman ba ito ulit? Okay, game. Pero uh -oh. for you, alam mo naman oh, love kit. Thank you so much. Hindi na talaga pag-isip. Alam ko yan, syempre, si Marina. Ah. Oh, alam ko yan, Marina! <laughs> How have you been? Um, happy. Mm -hmm. uh, blessed. I've been given the opportunity to be part of a movie. Movies. Yes. Yes. Movies. yes kasi uh, one film under Metro Manila Film Festival, which I've been nominated for a Best supporting role. Supporting role. Yeah. Period. Correct. Parang first Period. ever, first ever drag queen to be nominated. Parang no. Parang no. Oh, parang. Oh, oh. And it's also a way to like really introduce drag to a larger market, diba? Yun exactly. naman ang goal after season one, tama? Mm, kaya ngayon ang goal natin, reason why, kahit hindi po pa natatanong kung ba't hindi tayo naka-drag. Kasi mm -hmm. nga, meron tayong continuity po. May continuity. Yes, yeah, so hindi ko po kasi kailangan, alam mo na, uh -oh. may, hindi ko din pwedeng i-disclose kung ano tong pelikula na ito, pero abangan ninyo. Abangan ninyo. Siya po si Jesus Christ. <laughs> also, we've heard that you are launching your own bar now. Oh my God, your hey. own home. Uh Oo. -oh. Finally. Kasi syempre, ano ni, eh, di ba parang nasabi ko to eh, uh, darating yung punto na hindi ko na kaya mag-produce. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, kailangan mag-produce ibig ko pong sabihan ay mga anak ng mga naggagaling ang mga dragon. Reproduce. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, sabi ko, kailangan ako gumawa ng isang tahanan kung saan yun na yung bubuo nito mm -hmm. at magiging legacy. Kasi mm -hmm. diba once it becomes a culture, maganda yung magiging continuity ng mga yes. pangyayari. So sabi ko, ay gawin ko na to kahit ang hirap gawin. Yes. Kasi nga kasabay niya nagdi-direct ako, mm -hmm. umaarte, tapos talaga ba isasegway ko pa itong negosyo? Mm -hmm. Gusto kong imbitahan lahat. Thank you na for yes, this opportunity. Yes, of course, of course. Also, may bago na tayong tahanan. And it's called Crib po. Crib with the plus sign. Um, baga, this is a home where everyone is welcome, everyone could be free, and everyone could express who they are. And now, are you ready to talk about Season 2 of Drag Race? How happy are you to have that we have Drag Race Philippines Season 2? Chill lang. Ah, kalmado lang. <laughs> Wala naman ako dun eh, so wag na lang. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> happy ako, syempre. Oh, syempre. Kasi nagtuloy. Mm -hmm. At syempre, sana season 3, season 4. Kasi mm -hmm. madami pa tayong drag kids, sisters na gusto pa rin makapenetrate doon, diba? Kaya happy ako. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm excited to see this episode as well. Kasi kagaya nga nang sabi ko kayo, it's all about love and family. And eksperto ka dyan. <laughs> Sa love <laughs> and family. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> no, uh, but this episode, um, the girls, syempre, pagbalik nila sa workroom, nagbibilangan na naman ulit sila ng mga room badge, mm. diba? Um, and at this point, si Captivating Kat Kat ay meron ng dalawang room badge. And ikaw, also, as, as two, two badger, to Ru Badger, how does it feel na sa ganitong part ng competition, looking back in our season, sa ganitong part ng competition na medyo tail end na eh, no? yeah. parang um, nagkakaubusan na ng gasolina, dito na talaga naka-microscope na lahat, di ba? Yeah. Um, ngayong may two Ru Badger na si Kat Kat, sa tingin mo, ano yung feeling niya at this point? Nako, eh, si Kat Kat pa, ano yun? Ganyan mm. yan. So, mas lalong yung ulo na tsaka liig na nandun lalo oh. yan, skyrocketing. Oh, pa. Sorry girls, ganyan, mm-hmm. Jira. So pero hindi, seriously um mas nakaka uh, mas may drive ka mm-hmm. lalo na ang lapit mo na sa corona na pakiramdam mo ay akin na to. Mm-hmm. Kasi validation din yung badge na yun, yes. yung all your hard work na nila yung pinapakita at ginagawa mo na susuklian mm-hmm. siya at nakikita siya ng yes. judges. Pero hindi rin siya enough na basehan for you to be compact, to complacent to. Mm-hmm. Ay akin 'yan. So yes. kailangan pa rin all eyes, all ears ka tsaka presence of mind. Okay, at this point um, on the episode, um, Mama Power revealed that they will be doing a mini challenge, a makeup challenge in 5 minutes. At ang gamit lang nila ay isang maliit na mirror at maghahati-hati silang anim doon. Tingin mo, how well would you do in this challenge? <laughs> Walk out. Alam mo oh, yan. Oh, sabi niya, Walk out. may proseso po ako. Oo, oh, oh, Matik. Alam niyo yan. Nilalaro niyo ako. Oh, hindi ka sinama yun eh. <laughs> di ba yun yung katotohanan nun eh. Di ba alam nila? Oh. Nung tumayo ako, una ko sinabi, nako, laruso kayo. Nilalaro niyo ako. Oh. Tapos, oh. di ba? Alam oh. mo siya ganyan. Ganyan I it saw this, honestly, I saw this in person, how spiritual you are. Diba? Alam mo May naman proseso. yan. May proseso. Ayun lang. Kaya pag yan, five hours, yung first two hours, nagaganyan-ganyan yan. Nagaalog-alog na mga kung pwede, ano, magsisindi ng mga dapat sindihan. Ganyan siya, in fairness naman. True. At least sa kanya na nanggaling. <laughs> o, oh, alam na niya talaga alam yan. Alam ko talaga yun. Oo. Oh, oh. Namiss tuloy kita to. Tara na, alis na tayo. Mabanding na lang tayo. <laughs> Ito ba na lang, ano? Uh, but tama naman, like, through and through, I think yung mini challenges, it just, parang it's there to bring out the personality, exactly. character, and yung fun out of the girls. Kasi, mm-hmm. syempre, at the height of the competition, kailangan nila ng konting, ano eh, ng konting, Icebreaker, konting yeah. icebreaker. Mini challenge lang naman. Oh, oh, so parang okay ka lang maging pangit. Para pa minsan minsan pumangit-pangit naman tayo. Oo. Oh, oh. Para <laughs> makahabol naman yun. <laughs> makahabol naman sila oh, kasi. Oo, oh, oh, kasi sali na silang masyadong oh, oh. <laughs> manalila yun. Eh. Pero yeah, uh, for this mini challenge, sino yung sa tingin mo nag, uh, ano, like, nag-excel at this point? Um, feeling ko tama na si Bernie yung nanak. Kasi in fairness naman kay Bernie, ang ganda niya. Buo. Oo. Oh, oh. Pero Buo. inedit na ata ni BJ yun, no? Oo, oh, eh, may edit na siguro yung mga pictures nila, no? Oo. Oh, oh. Ah, for me, sayang si Miss Jade. So, sana hindi na siya nagdagdag. Ang ganda niya na bago pa mag-start yung Miss Jade. Napansin ko yun. Sabi ko nga, <laughs> ay, buo na siya. Ay, naman ni, ano, Miss Jade. Sabi ko kasi, parang alam niyang eto. Kasi buo siya nung pumasok siya ng workroom, eh. Nagdagdag pa. Yun nga yung sinasabi ko, presence of mind. When you enter a competition, number one, sa akin yan, ha? Number one sa akin, presence of mind. Kailangan alam mo kung kailan mo papalitan yung decision mo na to at kung kailan ka mag-stay dun sa decision na yun. I think the, the main challenge talaga here is yung walang salamin. Uh-huh. Walang proper salamin para mag-makeup. And for me, ah, kahit sabihin mo na um, parang hindi ko kaya, hindi mo, feeling ko kakayanin mo siya. Kasi may naalala kong kwento mo uh-huh. um, sa akin na parang nung kapanahunan, kapanahunan oh niyo! <laughs> <laughs> nung kumukontest ka, Ay, diba? my God. yung salamin niyo maliit lang talaga. Oh. Tapos oh. lahat ng resourcefulness ginagamit nyo na parang kahit yung dagta ng, oh dagta ng uh, dahon, yun yung ginagamit yung eyelash. Oh Tapos nasa pilapil kayo ng, ng gilid ng stage bago kayo kumontes. Madilim. Tapos nagme-makeup kayo sa dilim. Di ba? Oh. I think you will do well in this challenge. Parang lived experience siya kayo. <laughs> oh. Oh. Di ba? Oo, oh. 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 
dagta ng dahon ng kay me too. Oo. Oh, oh. Hahanap ka po kasi hindi pa uso sa amin nun yung may pandikit talaga, oh, yung duo-duong ganyan. Yeah. No, kaya nabuta ko pa ngayon, blush on crepe paper. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Oh. Yung ano, yung papel de hapon. Papel de hapon. Yes. Tapos sabasa mo ng laway. Pak, 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 pak. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung ginagawa niyang pagdidila na gano'n, uh -huh. uso talaga noon pa yun. Kasi walang tubig minsan sa mga barabarangay yeah. probinsya. Tsaka minsan walang kuryente, walang ilaw. Yeah. Kinuwento mo rin yan. Oo, Oo tapos mo. puro alikabok po. Tapos wala kaming backstage na matino. Minsan, swerte na yung may katsyang tabing. Mm -hmm. Na madalas color green. Uh -huh. Yun, pero based sa experience ko, yes, feeling ko nga. Pero kasi alam mo naman. Oh, alam, alam mo naman ngayon. Na <laughs> proseso. <laughs> proseso. Meron eh. But I think you have that, um, parang equipped ka in a way uh -oh. to do at least good in this challenge. Shots up. Ano ko po to? Oh, no. Ano ko lang ang syempre. After that fun mini challenge, Mama Pao revealed that this week it's the return of the makeover challenge twinning the sequel and this episode they brought in the golden gaze oh nakakatouch Aww. sila ang i-makeover ng ating top 6 for this episode so tingin mo how important it is um to you know really pay tribute or like uh uh pay it forward for the queens that walked before us and i know that you are the queen that Walk before the queens who walk before us. <laughs> Ikaw ang nauna. <laughs> so, may daan. Ikaw ang... Na ako yung daan. Uh, <laughs> no, really, like, how important it is for our elderly, you know, queer heroes to be represented on the show. Ang dami kong gustong sabihin sa totoo lang, pero sobra. Mm -hmm. Ang halaga na nandito yung participasyon ng Golden Kings. Yes. Iba yung angulo nila, kasi na-film ko din sila mm -hmm. na kayo. Iba yung angulo ng mga story nila. So, parang... Ang halaga nito kasi dito natin mauunawaan kung ano yung paghihirap nung noon at kung paano natin ito dapat pangalagaan ngayon. Yes, tama, tama, tama. Yun. Kasi kung alam nyo pong kayo lang yung magaling, pwede. Mm -mm. Alam nyo yung matalino kayo sa ganito, pwede. Pero iba pa rin po yung may matututunan kayo galing sa sinauna nung wala pa yung teknolohiya mm -hmm. na kalibot sa inyo. Mm -mm. Iba yun eh. Kasi yeah. yun, hindi yun by the book lang eh. Mm -mm. Yun, minsan divine intervention yun. At saka ano talaga, experience. Exactly. Yes. Ikaw mismo yung nagkamali. Kaya pag pinasa mo yung natutunan mo, legit. Hindi mm -hmm. siya yung parang, ah, chinika lang kasi sa akin. Ito, chika ko mm -hmm. sa akin. Hindi. Uh -oh. Diba? Yun yun. Kaya ang halaga na nandun yung representation yes. ng Golden Gate. Yes. And I also, um, I think it's also important for us to like also reintroduce, you know, queer history mm -hmm. through and through for uh, relatively young queens like me. I think sobrang mm -hmm. importante na mapanood sila. Mm -hmm. Kasi parang it's also a wake-up call na, oh, you're not living in a bubble. Mm -hmm. Diba? Hindi lang yung napapanood mo sa drag race, hindi lang yung napapanood mo sa social media ang, ang, ang istorya ng, ng community na. So going back to the episode, um, Bernie won the challenge at meron siyang advantage ngayon para pumili at mag-pair ng ating mga golden gays to our um, top six. So si Bernie, ang pinili niya ay si Divine Amparo or si Mama Amparing, which is uh, not 62 years old, strong, fabulous, and full of personality. Sure. At ang pinayon niya naman si Kat Kat with Myra, a.k.a. Evangeline Pascual, at 71 years young. <laughs> Arizona with Madonna, 93 years young. Grabe. Jade Saw with Trisha Javier, 47 years old. Da, according to her. <laughs> Ovi with Carmen De La Rue, full of personality. And Hannah with Cherry Pie Picache. If you were in Bernie's shoes and you were to pick your partner, sino ang pipiliin mo sa ating mga Golden Gates? Oh my. Base ba to sa kung ano din yung dala ko nung panahon Oo, na dala ng panahon na yun. And sa tingin mo, kanino ka merong instant connection? Yun napunta kay Ovi. Mm -mm. Si, Carmen. si Carmen De La Rue. Siya. Kasi pakiramdam ko, aside sa laking lola ko, mm -hmm. diba, um, mas marirepresenta ni Miss Carmen yung story na gusto kong iparat. Mm -hmm. diba? Lalo din visually. Yes. Kasi syempre ang drag, bago pa tayo magsalita or magkwento kung ano yung narrative ng ginagawa natin, it should, be, it should start visual. first from uh, uh, the visual. Let the drag do the talking ikaw. Yeah. Eh, ang daming story ng kulukulubot na balat ni Miss Carmen na yun na ang gandang i-emphasize lalo. Mm -mm. Lalo sa runway na yeah. So, siya pipiliin. Yeah. Um, I would pick her as well. Mm -hmm. Just because her mere energy, mm -hmm. yung introduction niya pa lang. Like, she's just all smiles. Mm -hmm. 
and punong puno ng personality. And that's what you want uh, when you're doing a makeover challenge, de ba? Yeah. Yung someone na magbamash ng personality mo. And yung personality ko naman very fun lang, you know, very gorgeous, very. <laughs> ayaw, ayaw niya. <laughs> okay, at this point also, uh, medyo may split sa group, eh, de ba? Na merong mga pairings na nag-work well together with each other right off the bat. Na okay, sige, I will take the lead or take the lead ganun kasi yung kay OV parang um nag-work sila together and then si Mama um, Carmen De La Ru marami rin siyang mga suggestions na willingly tinik din ni OV di ba um we can also see si Bernie and uh Divine Amparo na they work well with each other together di ba so parang ang ganda na makita na two generations of or two different generations of drag working together to make a good show diba um, but also on the other hand meron ding mga um, lolas na parang ay gusto ko nakagown na ko eh diba ay ayoko yan hindi ako nang gusto suot yan gusto ko pixie cut ganun so parang if you were in put in that situation how, what would you do ay wala mm -hmm. ay di yan na yan mm -hmm. pero syempre kakausapin ko siya nang maayos mm -hmm. Mother, huwag ka nang mixin. <laughs> Kasi una-una, hirap na nga ako make-up. Ang ka, oh, oh. hindi ganun naman talaga oh. ako yung oras ko mauubos. Na. Push na natin. Push na natin. Ito kasi yung dalaki. Oh, gagawin ko na lang yun ng choreography. Mm -hmm. Madadaan naman yun doon eh. Or like, ipapaintindi mo na lang sa kanya, bakit ito yung dinala yes. ko? Bakit? Kasi ako naman, nung, nung season natin, may lahat nung binitbit ko, may narrative yun. Mm -hmm. eh. Kung baga, ito yan, ganito yung story niyan, kung ba't ito yung tela niyan, ito yung kulay niyan. Mm -hmm. So, feeling ko mauunawaan naman ng pipiliin yes. ko. At saka bilang hirap din siya makarinig si Miss mm -mm. Carmen dahil siya ngay pinili ko. Uh, Parang feeling ko naman mag yes na. Oo, uh, 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 yes, sige, uh, suot natin yan. Yes, ang ganda na siya, di ba? Oo, oh, oh. correct. Yun yung uh, oh. nakaganong buhok ni Ovi, laban mm -hmm. siya, di ba? Blow yeah, um, I think uh, makikita natin dito yung yung hirap lang ng girls na ipaintindi din in a way yung drag aesthetic nila. Kasi even yung mga ating mga drag lolas, nakita nila eh kung gaano magkakaiba yung drag no ating top six girls. For me, also, makeover challenges is some of the, parang makeover challenges are some of the hardest challenges to do. Kasi hindi mo alam kung sino yung makakatrabaho mo. Hindi mo alam yung size, yung aesthetic, or kung babagay ba sa kanya yung yung aesthetic mo. Kasi diba, it's all about resemblance. It's yeah. all about family resemblance. Kailangan magmukha siyang part ng family mo, diba? Yes. So if you're working with someone na hindi mo inexpect, diba? Parang, sa tingin mo, ano yung best strategy in terms of like garments, in terms of like aesthetic, in terms of like hair? Sa tingin mo, ano yung strategy to do well in this challenge? Um, <clears throat> wala. <clears throat> Wala, kasi only presence of mind. Yun nga, paulit-ulit kong i-insist dito na you only have what you have, eh. Mm -mm. Na kung ano na yung nadala natin sa loob, yes. yun na yun. Mm -mm. So ako, hindi ko nawawasakin yung damit na yun. Mm -mm. Even the wigs. Mm -mm. Ang tanging kaya ko na lang i-manipulate yung makeup. Yes. Maybe lagyan ko siya ng body paint to make mm -mm. it more different, to, mm -mm. To, 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 to express or to tell another narrative mm -mm. ng kung ano yung gusto kong ipakita. So ganun siya. Ganun ka pipite kasi if you alter mo pa yon, at yun kaya naman magaling manah eh or lack of experience sa kung ano man, wag na, kasi ikaka downfall, downfall mo pa yon. So wag na other than perfect niyo yung choreography niyo, at you alter mo na lang yung makeup. Pero sa looks stick ka na doon. Pero also, parang siguro, before coming into the competition, siguro parang, I think one good strategy is to prepare different sizes ah, of the dress. Different diba? naman yun. Oh, oh. That's what I did with the other <clears throat> garment that I brought. Yes. Diba yung sinuot ng partner ko? Malaki yun. Mm -mm. As in, ganyan yun. Stretch na yun, tapos ang size pa nun ganyan. Oh. Sinukat siya sa katawan ni Chob. <laughs> <laughs> so, kasi iniisip ko ng time na, what if kung Ah, medyo full yung figure ng pumasok at yun na napunta sa akin. Mas mahirap magdagdag ng tela. Sabi ko, mas madaling magbawa. So, to make it sure, stretch yung pinili ko, tapos mas nilakihan na namin. Yes, I think yun din yung ginawa ko sa sa twinning challenge. Parang medyo size a little bit bigger para kakasya kung sino ma. Tapos kailangan stretch. You know, you can never really go wrong with stretch fabric on a makeover challenge. 
So at this moment, um, nagkakaroon nagkaroon ng walkthrough with Mama Pao ang ating mga lovely pairs, and also nagstart narin yung girls uh, magprepare make up and it just transform their uh, lola partners. <laughs> and I think isa sa mga pinaka highlight ng episodes nato is nung mini make up ni Arizona si Madonna at nakakatulog si Madonna, di ba? <laughs> Para feeling mo na kakarelate ako masyad. <laughs> o hindi. Hindi ako honestly pag nagpapa-makeup ako, kahit ako mismo nakakaantok talaga, girl. Tas ang lamig-lamig pa sa sa work. Hindi ka relax din kasi pag may ibang gumagalaw ng mukha. Pero yung ano, ang ganda nung ginawa ni Arizona na hinayaan niya lang si Lola Madonna na matulog, di ba? I think it's just so fun to watch. And also at this moment, si Ovi naman, I think what we saw from Ovi here is yung Nagkaroon siya ng special connection dun sa kanyang partner. It reminded her of her grandparents um, and yung the way ng pag-aaruga niya sa kanyang grandparents and the way na pag-aaruga din sa kanya ng grandparents. Um, what do you think of that moment? Very touching mm -hmm. and emotional also sa akin din. Mm -hmm. Kasi going back sa season natin, two days bago talaga ako pumasok, I discovered Lola na hindi mm -hmm. na ako kilala. Yes. So parang it reminded me again of that episode natin mm -hmm. wherein ganito kahira pero lang malabang ka. Mm -hmm. And there's no other way but for you to be inspired at that moment with whoever uh, you are uh, with. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun na lang yung sandigan mo. Yes. And I felt that with Ovi and Miss Carmen. Yes. Even si Miss Carmen na hindi na siya, hindi na ganun ka... Uh, lakas yung pandinig. Pan, oo, lakas yung pandinig niya. Pero mararamdaman mo sa kanya na komportable siya. Mm -hmm. Ako ang gusto ko na lang noon, parang maupo, tapos i-enjoy yung moment at numiti. Yeah. Kasi yun na yun eh. Parang, Alana, nakangiti na yung heart ko. Yeah. Sabi niya nga. <laughs> oo, kasi totoo po yun eh. May mga pagkakataon sa buhay natin na, dahil kahit makudapo ako, dami ko sinasabi. <laughs> Pero may mga pagkakataon sa bu buhay natin na, wala kang masabi. Tapos parang gusto mo lang, upo lang ako, tapos panoorin lang kita. Mm -hmm. I also have to agree with you on that. Miss Carmen De La Rue, sabi mo, parang komportable siya eh. Mm -hmm. Because Ovi made her feel comfortable. At napakahalaga. She made her feel that she's valued. Diba? Yes. And, and I don't think it's Ovi lang eh. Everyone else, mm -hmm. they made sure na, oh, group effort to. Ako, yes, ako yung nasa competition, but also, you also matter in this yes, challenge. Oo. And also at this point, um, I think isa rin sa mga notable moments na pinakita dito sa episode na to is Bernie talking about, you know, the mere topic of age and mm -hmm. aging. And na parang, hala, sa ganitong age kaya, ganito pa rin ako kanakas. Sa ganitong age kaya, ano na kayang gagawin ko? Eh, ganun naman na, diba? lakas pa rin niya. <laughs> Pero alam mo siya sa age. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman malayo masyado kay ano, kay Amparo yung eh. Hey, we love you. We love you. Um, but yeah, I think yung parang existential um, discussion ng legacy, ng purpose, ng drag in general. Ako ang nasa stage ako na anytime na parang tutuntong na ako sa 14. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko sinasabing sa mga tanda yun, pero I want to do more, lalo pa na patanda ka na patanda, pero mas lalo pa para sa iba. Mm -hmm. And to see these queens, I mean, the, the elderly queens saying na parang all they wanted to do was to make people happy and to perform for them. Entertain them. And to entertain them. Um, it, lifts up, it lifts up your spirit na lalo parang magbigay pa ng platapo, platform for all, all other younger queens mm -hmm. so that they would be able to understand where these elderly queens are coming from. Mm -hmm. Na maybe right now, gusto mo lang mag-death drop or mag-dip, gusto mo lang mag-voguing, gusto mo lang mag-lip sync, or gusto mo lang magsuot ng fabulous costumes. That's maybe what you wanted now. Mm -hmm. But in the next years to come, it will become different. Yeah. You will become more profound. And mature yung... Yes, at mas mauunawaan mo. Kaya ang halaga nun na nakakatawa yung ang simple ng mensahe, pero ang lawak nung saklaw. Mm -hmm. May sinabi si Mama um, Divine Amparo that really struck a chord in me. Sabi niya, sorry, ganit, uh, ganitong, sa ganitong age, 
hinahanap pa rin talaga ng katawan ko yung pagpa-perform. Uh -huh. And that's how I feel. Feeling ko nga parang pagtanda ko, hahanapin pa rin ng katawan ko yung drag. Feeling ko I was born to do this talaga. Na parang kahit gawin ko siya everyday, fulfilled yung soul ko. Uh -huh. Parang ganun siya. So, parang, And it shows ng sobrang sobra. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I feel like um, for a lot of us, iisipin mo, 60 years old, 70 years old, magdadrag pa kaya ako o mamamahinga na lang ako. Pero it shows na, ah, pwede pala. Dahil sa kanila, pinapakita nila na pwede pala. Okay, now everyone is ready for the main stage. Category is Twinning the Sequel. Dahil ang first na twinning ay sa... Atin, sa season natin ng kaunaw na ang twinning. Do you remember anything uh, walking down the runway? Lahat ng nangyari sa episode na yun. Mm -mm. Oh. I feel so powerful mm -hmm. at that moment because I'm with my partner. Yes. And that's all I needed that time kasi nga parang na-drain ka na from each episode. Eh. Sabi ko, saan pa ba akong hugot mm -hmm. ng lakas dito? So when they were brought inside, ala, all smiles ako. Mm -hmm. At alam ko noon, ewan ko, for some weird reasons, sabi ko agad kay Chal, tayo mananalo dito. Mm -hmm. Pero nang tinanong nga rin ako, o oh, kamusta na may competition, hindi ako mananalo. <laughs> Oo, sinabi ko rin sa kanya, sabi niya sa akin, huwag huwag mong barangin. Hmm, alam ko talaga, day one pa lang, alam ko hindi ako mananalo. Pero sa episode na to, dama ko tayo akin mananalo. To. Sabi ko, akin to. Kasi, Buhos na buhos tayo dito, sabi mm -mm. ko. Tsaka, confident ako kay Jel. Mm -mm. Kaya kahit parang, meron kasi man nakarating sa akin na parang, eh, parang hindi sila mananalo, ang ganda na ng jowa. Uh -oh. Sabi ko, paano gusto niyong gawin ko? Yung ex ko si Kevin, ang ganda din. Uh -oh. Yung friend kong si Matt, Matt, konti sera. Uh -oh. So, mananalo pa rin kami. Correct. Isa pang friend kong si Yuki. <laughs> Ano din? Yung drag daughter nandun, oh, maganda oh. din. So parang sa ito, it runs in the family. That, that, that's how I felt during uh -huh. that moment. Sabi ko lang talaga, kailangan ko, ang, ang na-pressure lang ako to choreograph uh -oh. yung routine. Kasi alam mo naman mga weakness ko yung uh -oh. dance, dance at kung ano. Pero to be honest naman, looking back at your performance talaga, kayo ni Shadow, uh -oh. unclockable talaga. Like yes, family the resemblance down to the T. Yes, talaga. and claim. Yeah. At saka maraming nag-expect kay Shadow na mag-audition for season 2, ha? <laughs> At nag-aaral si Shadow. Ah, nag-aaral na mag-aaral siya ng make-up. Ay, Sabi ko, huy, huwag ako magkahan mo. Sabi niya, hindi ka na, parang naka 100,000 siya. Huy, hindi ka na. I yeah. created a monster. Oh, Ganun na. na. Oh, iba na siya ang galing niya. Oh, sana mag-audition si Shadow soon. 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 Yes, I love it. Soon. We're gonna see Shadow soon. Ganda okay. yun, oh. Ganda yun. Yun. But yeah, I'm so excited to see our golden lolas on the main stage with our top six. Are you ready? Game. Are you excited? Go. Ah, uh, parang ayaw mo naman. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi sa ayaw. Uh -oh. Hindi, game. Kasi syempre, ito yung standard. Uh -oh, so, diba? tignan natin. So, let's see. Before we go into the runway today, can we talk about how gorgeous Mama Pao looks tonight? Amen. Ang ganda. Mm -hmm. At the hair, it's human. It's The density was there. It's laid. I love it. She looked. This is the best she looked. Um, um, so far, for me. Mm. Agree? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, seriously, I love Mama Pao. Um, especially the that long inches. Oh, I don't know. Inches. How long was that? 42? Hair, Tim. It, her hairstylist really pop off this week. Yes. <laughs> yung hair, love ko. Yeah. Hair and makeup. I love the hair and makeup this yes, week. Yes, ang ganda. Pasabog. Okay. Mm -mm. On the runway is Ovi Kant. And uh, Carmen De La Rue giving us this oro, plata, mata, realness, gold, and silver structured um, top and uh, uh, metallic skirt. What yes. do you think of this look in general? Love. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Because I feel an avant-garde yes. feel. Siya. Yes. And also, there's this narrative aside from it being avant-garde. ding parang kwento si OV about I don't know I, I have not heard pero I don't know why the hair is directed this on the way. side yes yeah. oh, oh. so overall at bumagay din mm -hmm. kay Miss Carmen yes. ang halaga nun eh exactly oo oh, oh, kasi you, 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 you pwede mo overpower yung kagaya ni Miss Carmen yes. since ang payat na din ni Miss Carmen and petite di ba mm -hmm. parang yun, pero it worked mm. yeah uh, <laughs> okay. no but I agree I loved OV and mm -hmm. Carmen De La Rue on the runway uh -huh. we look for ano kasi for family resemblance and aesthetic here di ba yes. brand in a way um, and OV did not stop in the dress mm -mm. pinartner niya yung hair na avant-garde na OV could parang si OV lang ang magsosot niyan uh -huh. parang ganon uh -huh. gagawin niya yan sinosot niyan and 
it worked well with Carmen. Mm -hmm. Talagang parang pasok na pasok dun sa family resemblance. Yes. And their presentation as well. Nakikita mo pa rin, up until this point, yung care ni Ovi kay Carmen mm -hmm. na ginagabayan niya, hinahawakan niya yung kamay. Tapos si Miss Carmen, bigla na lang magpo-pose. Di ba? Uh -oh. I love it. The I love the energy. Uh -oh. Um, overall, the look I love. It's uh, fashion forward. It's avant-garde, and it's true to Ovi's brand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next on the runway is Arizona Brandy and Tequila Sunrise, giving this orange number. What do you think of this look? Okay, naman siya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, dadag dagang ko ah, ba? Ah, yes. Oh, elaborate po natin. Ah, okay, ma. sorry. Elaborate po natin, ma. Kasi best effort ko na yung okay lang talaga. <laughs> Ay, wala akong ibig sabihin. Oh. Hindi, 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 okay naman siya. Pero, <clears throat> runway kasi yun eh. Parang pakiramdam ko. Um, ito, hindi to excuse. Pero nung season namin, lockdown talaga yan. Pandemic. So, kung ano yung resources namin at nadala namin, yun yun. Pero sila kasi, mas may chance na sila to bring mm. gag-worthy looks sa runway. So, parang feeling ko lang, ito na yung time kasi episode 7 na, tama, di ba? Mm. Na, Itabas niyo na, yung pabongga ng pabongga. Feeling ko lang medyo, mm, mm -hmm. yeah. hindi lang na niya. Tapos, mm -hmm. sige, ando na naman yung parang branding ata niya, yung alak-alak. Mm -hmm. no? Parang, pwede tayong huminga. Mm -hmm. Naniniwala ko sa yes. ganun eh. Hinga tayo. Huwag sa... masyadong... Overkill. Yes, yes. Overkill, overkill kay hard sell na siya masyado. Parang, mm -hmm. hinga lang. But, uh, but also, I understand why Arizona Brandy did that. Kasi nga, it's a branding challenge. And true to herself, yung pag-inom ng alak. And I think she also found... Uh... However, hindi lang nag-reflect mm -hmm. dun sa look. Mm -hmm. Not yes. unless sinabing siya si Tequila Sunrise. Mm -hmm. si... Kahit balibalik ka rin kung hindi siya mukhang alak. Or I mean, yeah. the, the brand of Arizona, I felt like it was lacking. Um, I love the ruffles. I wish may train, something mm -hmm. train, para lang mas bongga, mas runway worthy. Um, but overall, I think they did a pretty okay job and uh, very presentable. Yeah. And they had fun on the runway. Yun din, oh, oh. Even so, yung pag inom, I think also um, one reason bakit bringing ni Arizona yung aspect na yun is kinuwenta sa kanya ni Mama Madonna na, or ni Tequila Sunrise na nung kabataan niya, pala inom din siya. So parang, oh, pala, diba? so parang nahanap niya yung um, common denominator na yun na parang okay. Ito yung brand natin as a house. Up next on the runway, we have Bernie and Divine Amparo or Mama Amparing. What do we think of this heavenly body um, pageant, classic beauty, classic drag uh, look from them? Yun na yun, classic drag. Mm -hmm. In fairness naman, achieve. Achieve. Oo, ano lang ako kasi parang, um, how do I say this ng mas maganda? Mm -hmm. Ako mag-translate. Sabihin mo na hindi maganda, mapagandain ko. <laughs> Akong bahala sa'yo. <laughs> hindi, mag maganda naman siya. Yun nga lang kasi, meeting ako na kapag ka talaga dyan mo. Hindi sa I don't believe in, you know, uh, buying ready to wear or pulling out clothes. It's important also if you're under the budget, ganyan, ganyan. Wala pong problema doon talaga. Never yun issue. Pero yung mga opportunity kasi kung saan pwede mo nang ipakita ng todo-todo kung sino ka at pagkakataon na yun. Sa akin kasi, wala ako magiging restriction. I mean, ito todo ko yung kahit wala na akong kainin kasi this could be my one and only moment to do mm -hmm. it. So feeling ko lang kasi alam ko na yung damit na stretch na yun eh. Mm -hmm. So ako siguro coming from... Parang you've seen it before. Yeah, so doon lang naman po ako nanggagaling kasi nakita ko na yung gown na suot na yun. Um, napaganda, yes, I agree. Pero siguro mas iniintay kong makita saan pwedeng dali ni Bernie si Mama Divine. Mm -hmm. They looked amazing. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, they look amazing. Um, I have to commend the hair and makeup here. They really look like they come from the same pageant family. Mm -hmm. Agree. Especially Para, with the crown. Diba? With the Yung may crown, crown. Pa yeah. um, <clears throat> Pageant, I don't think it's Bernie's thing. Mm -hmm. pageant ba siya? I'm not sure. Hindi ko din alam. Ko din alam. Kasi all um, my life, alam ko performance. <clears throat> yes. Bernie's Body, ba? Diba? I wish I could have seen body. Yung pwede. Diba? I wish Maganda I could have yun. seen body. Pwede siyang pageant, but you know, body. Mm -hmm. diba? um, but I also, I understand then um, why um, Bernie 
went on this route. Like looking back at our strategy for makeover challenges, stretch fabric will really do well. Yeah. Classic uh -huh. drag will really do well on this challenge. And I think yun yung route na pinuntahan ni Bernie. Uh -huh. And it worked well, to be fair. Yes. Um, uh, sa pairing nila ni Amparo. And Amparo had such a great, great presence on stage. Alam mo talagang ginagawa niya nito for a very long time. Yeah. Up next on the runway, I think one of the best names <laughs> that has come out on stage, Hana Beshi and Mitsu Beshi. <laughs> that was so stupid, campy, and it's drag. Wait, I love no. it. May yung kulasyon ng game. Yung I'm Hana so Beshi. sorry. Yung, yung Mitsu Beshi. Mitsu Beshi. <laughs> Hana Beshi uh, and Mitsu Beshi. Sabi ko sa'yo, hindi talaga nagre-release <laughs> nung nanood ako. Oh my gosh, kayo ko lang nag-guess nung ginanan mo. It's so funny. Mitsu Beshi. Uh, they are giving us this nod to Richard Quinn, latex and floral moment. What do we think of the look and the presentation? Presentation, check, check, check. As in, happy ako. Sabi ko, ay! And then, the look, yung came Mama Cherry Pie. Mm -hmm. Mitsubeshi. Mitsubeshi, <laughs> oo. Kay Mitsubeshi, mm. kapos o di. Mm -hmm. Kapos siya, mm -hmm. kapos. Um, Naka-latex si ano eh. It was si a patent or yeah. I don't know kung ano yung parang pa niya with the matching high boots. Yun. So parang asan yung patent dun kay Mitsubishi, mm -hmm. di ba? Yeah. Tapos parang, yun niya kapos. Parang mas maganda ko kesa sa... Kasi ako pwedeng mas maganda ka. Kasi totoo lang nung binigay ko kay Jen yung long hair na yun. Mayroon talaga siya sa'yo. Eh, totoo naman. Mas maganda siya talaga. Kasi yung kapatid ko mas maganda sa akin. Ako nga sabi ko, ay shit, ito na nga rin maganda ako sa buhok na ito. Bibigay ko pa ito kay Jen. Pero kasi ganun eh. Kailangan feeling kong mas pagandahin ko siya kaysa sa mas maganda ako. Yun lang feeling ko doon. Pero presentation wise, ay bawa ko. Ang ganun. There's... Personality, boong bo. Mm -hmm. Yen lang. Yeah. Look lang talaga. Yeah, I wish yung patent um, fabric was also present to mas cohesive sana yung look mm. if it were that way. But I love the hair, the makeup, um, the concept behind it, the nod to fashion, Richard Quinn. Kasi, kasi last season meron din akong Richard Quinn look, yung pink look ko na, na flora. Alam ko, hindi mo na siya natatandaan kasi. Ay, ako yung nanalo ng episode na yun. Gaga siya ako. Tatatanda ako yun. Sabi mo, sabi mo, kay Marina Binigay. In Berna. Totoo din yun. Pero hindi, bukod doon, ang una ko na-feel, sinabi ko to sa'yo, nasa harap kita noon. Sabi ko, alam mo, nakusuno kitang yakapin noon. Kasi na tayo noon eh, di ba? Sinitilitig na kami dala-dala kang, ano yung pang water ng plant? Oo, watering can. Watering can. Ang cute, sabi ko. Pero mas maganda talaga yun. Thank you. <laughs> like, thank you na lang. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, really, um, I love the nod to fashion as uh -oh. well and the reference. Um, but yeah, sayang. Sayang yung patent uh, fabric. But the presentation was there. I love it. Yes. Personality-wise, I, uh, I, I was like really, really, really entertained. Correct. Yeah. Up next, we have another good pairing, captivating cat cat and captivating Meow meow. <laughs> Ang kanyang nakshi drag daughter captivating meow meow. Giving this gold and silver um, reveal on the runway. What do you think of this whole performance and whole look? Ako, chill, kasi we know that Kat Kat would deliver, like, mm -hmm. um, that she would perform, that yes. she would definitely give and entertain us on stage. And mm -hmm. she definitely did. Mm -hmm. However, sa look, parang again, ayun nga, parang ang hirap nung ang dami mo na kasing nakita. Mm -hmm. so, parang feeling ko lang, mm, parang katkat baka mar may meron pa for sure, mm -hmm. parang yan. Yeah. But it worked. It worked. It worked. Tapos, polido. Mm -hmm. Malinis naman from the reveal, even yung reveal nung hair, mm -hmm. even the yung, mm -hmm. yung parang pinaka-cover up nung actual yeah. ensemble sa loob. Yeah. But I feel like the choices of fabric, yeah. maybe they didn't match much. Yes. Because the one is metallic much. I don't know if it was uh -oh. lame yeah. or... The parang... gold was like parang pleated, uh -oh. the silver was not. Yes, that's it. Yes, the yung element of texture, it's worth it. Even the, the smallest detail, attention to detail is very important. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're doing a makeover. Because mm -hmm. there will be nitty gritty in your eyes. Yeah. Eh. Yeah, the presentation was really nice. Um, I love the element of reveal mm. um, in there. Na parang sa umpisa, very identical sila. Yep. Very tw uh, twin, you know. Uh, but when they revealed it, kahit na pares na intergalactic or like futuristic look, um, magkaiba ng cut. Mm -mm. I love that. Merong konting individuality yung look. 
Um, and with the tinsel hair, I kind of expected it, yung yeah. tinsel hair. Sabi ko, okay, maglalabas ng tinsel hair yung dalawa. Tapos naglabas sila. I love the entertainment value of it. I think when you think of Kat Kat, you think of a performer. Yes. Tama yung sinabi ni Kalad Karen um, on the judges panel na, alam natin, alam natin kung na si Kat Kat ay performer at alam niya kung paano tayo laruin on stage. Mm. And I think yun yung pinakita ni um, Captivating Kat Kat on stage. Staying true to her, uh, you know, yung essence niya as a drag queen, as a performer. I think yun yung pinakita niya. More than the looks itself, yeah. I think the look could have been improved even further. Pero yeah, like I love it. I love it um, um, in general. Maganda yung presentation and the look was really screaming. Captivating Kat Kat, House of Captivating Kat Kat. Last on the runway is Miss Jade So and Chloe Laruso So. <laughs> Giving us this um, conjoined twins burlesque breast friends. What do you think of this whole presentation and whole concept? Ako ang cute. Mm -hmm. Natuwa ako, natuwa. <laughs> Yung tuwa ako na feel natuwa ako kasi they were like just playing, being goofy. Nothing too serious, I think, which is important, like what I felt with Hannah Beshi. Yeah. Sometimes if the, the, the look doesn't work, but if you guys are having fun, then it will translate successfully. Yes. And that's just what happened with uh, Jade Miss Jade So and yeah. Miss Chloe LaRusso. Correct. <laughs> oh. the, medyo kailangan lang ipolish yung suso because there are parang mga slight bumps here mm -hmm. and there. Yeah. But, but the story, the burlesque theme, it's yeah. working. It yeah. worked. It yeah. worked. I love that Jade so went the different route. Na parang okay, twins kami pero conjoined. Hmm. Ang That's, smart nga. Ang smart eh. nun na oh. Ang smart nun eh. Parang twins susu kami. Isang katawan lang kami at pero magboberless kami together, di ba? Mm. Sayang lang na yung first pagpasok nila, hindi mo agad magets na abra ah, pala siya. Mm. It, it's more of like the execution part on the on the uh, garment itself. Yeah. Hindi mo makita na. Ah, bra pala yun. Ah, panty pala yun na conjoined. Ganon. Mm. Um, kasi the moment they step in, nakikita na agad yung reveal nung bra ni Miss Jane. Yung may tassel. So, yung may tassel. Oh. Sayang. It may, be, it may be an editing issue. Oh. Um, siguro sa way ng pag-present nila on, on post-production. Uh, but yeah, I think um, the presentation was really nice. The concept was there. Mm. I love it. Um, I wish it could have been more... It could have been executed more. Kagaya nga nang sabi mo, yung sususo sana mas clear, mas... Oo, mas susu polish, talaga. Mas mukhang susu, sana nagbabounce talaga siya, yeah. diba? If you seen Jimbo's um, breastplates, diba? Yung mga malalaki niyang breastplates, talagang nagbabounce, diba? Para mas clear na, ah, susu Uso pala yun, siya. ah, breast pala yun, diba? Hindi siya mukhang chan na malaki oh. or something. <laughs> And can we talk about how gorgeous Chloe looks like in Miss Jade So's makeup? Grabe, sobrang snatch, sobrang ang bata niya tignan. Oo. Oh, oh. At right. feeling ko nga hindi siya yun nung uni. Mm -hmm. Feeling ko naging kagsing ganda na niya din si Miss Evangeline. Yeah. Yeah. Kasi sila yung mukhang girl. Yeah. Ang ganda, ganda. ang ganda ng makeup ni Chloe LaRusso. So great job, Miss Jade. So for making sure that she really looks like a, a doll, a cunt like you. Yeah. Okay, after the judges' critics on the main stage, the girls with their partners uh, went back to the workroom for the untop Golden Gaze version. <laughs> At unang nag-away talaga yung ating mga Golden Lolas. Ano? Talagang in-drag na sila eh. So, full regalia na. At saka yung personality na malabas na. At sila ang unang nag-away talaga. <laughs> Alam mo yung mga Lola, yung mga matatanda. Mm -mm. Hindi, minsan hindi na mapigilan ng uh -oh. ang, bug, ang bugso ng damdamin. At saka feeling ko din siguro dahil first time nila sa ganong kind of environment. Tapos we know that it runs for hours and hours oh, yung show. Baka pagod na din siya. Yeah, feeling talaga. ko pagod na din. Pinakupo na nga sa stage hmm. eh. Uh. Siyempre, hindi mo talaga matatanggal sa kanila yung pagiging drag queen. Yeah, eh, diba? drama. At saka diba drama? Napaka na tiyo gaon ko. Siyempre, feeling ko din gusto ni Mama Divine ang paring na Sina ang manalo, oh, para oh, siyempre. Diba? At saka, I feel like she's also feeling her fantasy na parang, doon, ano naman, tapa, huwag mong patapakan yung gown ko. Feeling ko nga, ang ganda-ganda ko today, di ba? Secure ka, ha? Oo, oh, oh, yeah. gano'n. <laughs> Tapos sabi sa kanya ni, ni Mama Meow Meow, you're taking up so much space. Sabi <gasps> ko, oh my God! Tapos sabi sa kanya, ano, um, I, you don't care, I don't give a damn. Like, uh, fuck you. Uh oh, oh! Oh, sabi ko, oh my God, grabe! 
nandun siya agad. Andun Pili agad. Pili ko na extreme. <laughs> Oo, parang ang taas agad mm-hmm. din maamparin yun sa eksena na yun. Um, and also at this point of the untalk na parang uh, yung ating top six girls ay nasa likod at nasa harapan yung ating mga golden lolas. Parang syempre, um, nilagay nila sa drag nila yung mga lolas. And parang um, it was bound to happen na makita nila yung sarili nila sa ating mga golden lolas. Na parang in the future, ito tayo. Oh my God. Parang if you were in that situation na hindi naman masyadong magkakalayo talaga. <laughs> Naisip ko din yung pinanood ko. Sabi nila, di ba, 30 years from now. Sabi ko, totoo yung literally 30 years sa <laughs> 30 years from now, oo. Oh, oh. Babawasan na nga eh. Yeah. Na parang naisip nila na, oh my God. It's just literally us in the future, mm. di ba? Pero totoo naman. Ako nakot nakot naman tayo. Mm-hmm. Isa yan sa prayers ko na gusto kong mabot ako ng 80 sana, mm-hmm. ganyan, 90, tapos ang cool-cool kong bakla, may yeah. ako sa muka. Kasi gusto ko talaga magpatatoo ng muka. Mm-hmm. That's where ayaw lang akong payagan ng lola ko, tsaka ng friends ko. Yeah, we're very proud of everyone. Ang galing nila. Ang galing nila. Ang galing nila. At nakataba ng puso tong episode nito. Yeah. At yun yung mahala. Yun! Yun yung puso, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yung pag-inject ng puso na yun sa kabuuan ng season. Ang sarap, ang saya, mm-hmm. papanood. And speaking of puso, no? A lot of the emotions of the girls showed this episode, diba? From Ovi's um, connection with uh, Carmen De La Rue and like yung memory niya sa kanyang grandparents to Miss Jade So's um, vulnerability as well na naalala niya yung mom niya, um, you know, fighting cancer. But also her lola, diba? Um, and at this point um, in Untalk, after umalis ng ating mga golden gays, ating mga golden lolas, may nag-flash na video on screen which is Hana Beshi's parents, which we all know, na hindi pa nila alam yung pagdadrag ni Hana Beshi, and yung Hana Beshi having a partner. Gaya, and dami pa, and dami pang hindi undiscussed within their family. And for Hana Beshi to see them on screen at this very point of the competition, I feel like was a boost for her, especially based on what happened last week. Yeah. Na takot na takot siya na makita ng parents niya yung episode na yun. Um, dahil nga her. uli. Dahil, um, ito na naman tayo. <laughs> Basta sa dahil, ako. <laughs> uh, dahil nga, um, na-expose siya, um, or like na-out siya, for something very personal na ginagawa nila ng partner niya. Um, I think it's all, it's a full circle moment for Hannah Beshi at this moment, and I get why she's very, very emotional. Kasi kahit ako, uh-huh. naiyak ako sa part na to ng episode, na parang, for your parents, na hindi alam na nagde-drag ka to call your drag name on national TV is just full circle moment for her. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kasi iba din sa pakiramdam yung may tinatago ka. Ako when, when I started joining beauty pageants before bago ko nakapag-out, I won uh, um, a national comp. I mean, yeah, oh, diba? it runs in the family again, yeah. Period. Hindi naman, sorry, <laughs> second runner-up lang pala. Yeah, oh, so, Pero nanalo pa din. Oo, oh, oh, nanalo pa uh, din. Tapos unexpected yung grandmother ko, pasok siya ng room. E tinago ko yung trophy doon sa gilid ng cabinet. So pag nag-pass by siya pabalik, makikita niya. Mm-hmm. So I had no choice but to tell her right away bago siya tumalikod. Lola, I need to tell you something. Ganito, ganito, ganito sabi niya sa akin. Alam ko na nag-model ka. That's her uh-huh. term. Nag-model. Nag-model ka. Tapos uh-huh. sabi lang niya sa akin, hanggat wala, hindi ka magkagamit ng drugs, wala kang argabiyaduhin, go ka lang mm-hmm. talagang malang yan. Kaya I also understand how she might have felt na parang finally yeah. that uh, validation and that welcoming embrace Child from relief. the family. Relief. Yes, relief. na ah, okay sa family ko, di ba? Back on the main stage, the judges finally revealed the result. Miss Jade So, captivating Kat Kat, Hannah Beshi, and Arizona Brandy are all safe. At this moment, kinabahan ka ba for Ovi Kant and Bernie? Hindi. Uh-huh. Hindi. Parang, you knew. alam kong, oh, oh, alam kong right sila. So, parang hindi na ako mabubudol ng time yun. Pero, ba't ganun? Sabi ko, mm-hmm. ay, so walang bottom this week. Mm-hmm. Na-feel ko na na-top two yun. Mm-hmm. Kasi imposible, laro, laro na sila yung bottom. Uh-huh. So, parang yun lang yun sa akin na parang, ay, naka feeling ko top to to. May ganun mm-hmm. lang ako. Oo. Uh-huh. Parang ayaw yeah. feeling ko walang ma-eliminate this uh-huh. episode. Kasi gusto ko meron. Petition uh-huh. yun eh. <laughs> sa episode na to, feeling ko, kung may, kung may ibobotom ako, parang it sounded different. 
Kami ibabaw. Kami ibabaw ito. Kami patutuwarin ka. Oo, kami patutuwarin ako. Bilang top naman ako. Oh, you heard it from here. Top daw siya. Daw daw siya. Daw. Hindi, seryoso tayo. Feeling ko si ano, ang gandang magsagupa ni Arizona at saka ni Hannah Besh. Interesting. Base dun sa performance din na nangyari. Interesting. Sa pre-nesent din na look. So feeling ko, kung may bottom para sa akin, baka yung dalawa. Tapos feeling ko, magdidigmaan sa lipsync yung dalawa na yun. Tapos walang uuwi. Mas double shanty. Ah, parang mas magandang tool. Parang mas maganda yung ano ko, ginagawa ko. Kung wala kang patanggalin, pakabahin mo sila. Ah, but this time, I think, um, for like the whole story of it, I think it was a cherry, for me, it was a cherry on top na walang na-elimination. Walang elimination. It's a non-elimination episode kasi it was just like a very feel-good episode. Totoo din. And, um, to send someone home, Um, on this episode, it's just heartbreaking. Parang hindi ka kaya ni ng puso ko. <laughs> so at this moment, Ovi and Bernie are gonna be lip syncing for the win. And you're no stranger with lip syncing for the win or for the crown. Kasi may history tayo. Yun yung first lip sync natin together. Uh -oh. Ever. Together. Together. Tayo yung dalawa. Yun na yan yung sabi mo. Yung Call Me Mother ng first season finale. That was our first lip sync together. Um, it was lip sync for the, the crowd. Correct. Diba? Yeah. So, what were your memories? Happiness. Mm -hmm. Kasi we were backstage, mm -hmm. diba? Tapos sabi mo sa akin, Naku ma, sa'yo ata to kasi nga parang call me mother. Ako ako sabi ko, shit, call me mother? Parang sa'yo ibibigay to. Sabi ko sa sabi ko sa kanya, Hoy, hindi porkit call me mother title nito sa akin to. Swag yung kanta, Diyos ko po. Sabi ko nga, alam na alam kong sa'yo to. Pero ang gusto ko sinabi sa akin ni Marina noon, pero ma, ito yung first time natin maglilip sing together. Sabi niya yun, tapos sabi ko, let's just give them a show. Tara, tapos dahil ako may ina ko pumikap ng mga choreography, sabi niya, ma, mag-go dance tayo, sabi niya ganyan. Sa kanya po yun, sa kanya galing yun, sabi niya. Tapos ako, nawala na sa isip kung meron pala kaming gano'ng kailangan gawin. Tapos eventually lang, siguro yung bugso na lang nandadami nung nakita ko siya na pabalik as ako pa gano'n. Sabi ko, eto na yung moment namin. And I would say, I think it's one of the most iconic moments of the entire season. Oo, feeling ko talaga. Us lip syncing finally together. Tapos call me mother pa. To that song pa. Tapos it's very cinematic. And naalala mo nung before, off cam to, nung inaayos nila kami, naka-blocking sabi namin. Sabi ko sa kanya, nakatayo kami sa stage. Ah, pipili pa lang ng, no. ng song, ng okay. number, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi ko sa kanya, mga tignan mo, ang ganda natin sa camera. Kasi first time namin... Ay, oo! Oh, oh, first time, oh, 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 first time okay. namin makita yung sarili namin on camera. Yes, oo! Oh, oh. As in, sabi namin, tignan mo, ang ganda natin sa camera. Sabi ko, saan? 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 Oh, yun, oh. Gusto mo yun ako nakita ko. Ay, oo nga puta, ang oh, ganda natin. Pero kami, oh. Oo! Oh, oh. So, meron kaming level of, may certain confidence kami noon. Kasi parang, tangin na, ang ganda namin. Tapos nang pagbalik namin sa backstage, nung in-announce na magli-lip sync si Eva at saka si Precious, nasa uh -oh. likod kami, kinakabahan siya talaga. Uh -oh. Kinakabahan siya. Tapos sabi ko sa kanya, ayun nga, sabi ko sa kanya, alam mo ba, ito yung first time ating magli-lip sync together. Huwag mong isipin magbabattle tayo. Yes. Uh -oh. Isipin mo, first duet Do natin to together. Yeah. Going back to the lip sync of Bernie and uh, Ovi Kant to Bernie Vargas song, A Little Kiss, A Little Hug. What do you think of the lip sync battle? What do you think of that? Ako, right off the bat, kay Bernie. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kitang-kita ko, kanya to. Yung pagkumpas pa lang niya na gano'n. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, ay, si Bernie to. Yeah. Wala na. Kahit anong gawin na ni Ovi <laughs> noon. Yeah. Sorry, oh, hindi, hindi mo na ako dapat sorry. Pero ibig sabihin, ala, alam mo lang talaga pag yung kanta para dun sa mm -hmm. yes. Queen eh. Kahit anong gawin mo, yeah. wala. I think the moment she played with the camera, mm -hmm. gumanon siya. Uh -oh. Tapos dumanong pa siya, sabi ko, ay, she got this. Alam mo eh, no? Uh -oh. And I feel like um, it really showed how great of a performer Bernie is. Exactly. Diba? She was put into that situation. To think that she's wearing a gown. Yeah, gown. The limited she... na magiging movement niya. Yes. And yet, she was able to... Uh, Dominate the stage. Exactly. exactly. She got her second Rue badge mm. and second 80,000 pesos at siya ang nakakompleto this episode ng 80,000 at 20,000. Ah, so may one hush. One hush. Oh. So like, I feel like this is this was Bernie's episode <laughs> to win. Um, congratulations, Bernie, for your Congrats. second win. And congratulations to our top six for being top six mm. yet again. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hindi, iba lang kasi sa Jimmy, uuwi. Eh, mm-hmm. para... Ang sige mo po uuwi, bago tayo umuwi. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I just wanna ask you, kasi we're at the, almost at the end of the show. Um, who are you rooting for? For the crowd? Ako talaga, feeling ko, kahit hindi ko complete pinapapanood to lahat ng ganun kakompleto, mm-hmm. ha? Gusto ko si Hannah Beshi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gusto ko siya. I, I don't know why ko siya gusto. Pero yun yung maganda. Dahil hindi ko masagot kung ba't ko siya gusto. Mm, you just like mm, her. Period. Yes. Ibig sabihin nun, I may something special with this person. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately, um, we are almost at the end of the show. Mm. Aw, sayang mag-goodbye sa tayo. Bakit episode before, na ba tayo? <laughs> <laughs> um, naka-episode, tatlong episode tayo in one episode. Ito na po yung part 3 ng episode 7. Grabe, <laughs> no? Um, I, I mean, do you have anything else to promote? Do you have anything else to tell everyone? Do you yes, please. Oo, oh, oh, thank you, Nak. Thank you. Yes, please po. Unang-una po, inaanyayahan ko kayo sa nalalapit na pagbubukas ng bago nating tahanan. Ito po ay ang crib. Ayan, uh, magbubukas sa nalalapit na September 23 sa Timog Avenue, Quezon City lamang po ito. Right across GMA. So, malapit yes, lang siya doon. Iniimbitahan ko po kayo, atin pong suporta ng bago nating tahanan. At siya po na matutuwa kayo at ito po ay para rin sa inyo at sa future din ng drag community. Kaya rin po ito ginawa. Yun. And syempre, pasalamatan natin ang aking outfit for today. My one and only designer, Pristine de Guzman. For making me look beautiful and, and the shoes and We're the touchy, shoes mama yes well thank you get very it. much <laughs> get the shoes baby get the shoes <laughs> i would like to thank Neric baltran I see Neric too. girl oh, legendary Neric. only the best for the best <laughs> thank you so much sir Neric baltran i would also like to thank lip aesthetic clinic for making sure that i look good and susana dental clinic Ding. Well, before I let you go, um, hindi ko alam kung alam mo to kasi hindi ko alam kung pinapanood mo yung show namin. Naku, alam ko yan. <laughs> alam mo na? Eto yan. Ah! Ready ka na ba? Ready ka na bang mag-uwi ng mga bagay-bagay? Nakita ko to kasi diba sinet mo sa akin. Oh, nakita ko to. Oh my gosh, gusto kong kumain. Ayan. Okay, excited ka na ba para sa iyong pasalubong? At iuwi mo sa mga anak mo sa crib, uh-huh. sa mga staff mo sa crib. Yes, para makatipid-tipid, no? Oh, kasi last time, merong nagdala ng malaking supot, may nagdala ng bagahe. Ay. Para, ready ka ba? Wala akong dala nun. Pero... Baka ako na nang manghihingi sa'yo. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, without further ado, let's do it. Ah, sige. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> well, in true Filipino fashion, a stopover wouldn't be complete without pasalubongs. Kaya silhouette. Sige! Sa'yo na yan, pasalubong! Uh-huh. Obusin mo! Sige. sige. Sa'yo na yan! <laughs> At dahil wala akong baong bag. Oo, oh, wala siyang baong bag. Mayroon akong ibang bao. Oo. Oh. Ito ang baong ko. Ano yan? Baon ako. Baril. Panggapit ng eyebrows. <laughs> Kasi magte-taste testing. Ay, magte-taste testing. Oh, 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 Tikman mo din yung pinamimigay mo. Ba ba Kasi masyado kang oh, giver. Pasa mangha ngayon, hindi ako nagmamaangha. Hindi, kainin mo yan! Hoy, <laughs> hindi pwede. Alam mo, kasi isang piraso oh, lang. Oh, oh tikman mo muna ito. Hindi ko na. Ako muna. Ay, ako muna. Ah. Wala, dahil. Wala. Pag ako talaga, nagbunak ito. Wala ka. Wala ka. Pami. Hindi, gusto oh, mo. Masarap. Masarap. Mm. Masarap. Gumagawa kasi kami nito ng bata ako. Mm. Hihihak! <laughs> oh, ito na. Ah. Ang mother is love. Mmm! 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 Masarap pala. Mmm! Kasabog! Wala lang pinipig. Sana may pinipig. Pero may oh. nuts siya ha, in fairness. Mmm! 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 Ay, gito. Ilang linggo ko Walang yung... suka! May suka kayo? Ano ba kayo dyan? Sabi niya, ayoko mag-uwi. Dito na natin kainin. Ay, shit! Dito na natin kainin. Ay, shit! Dito na natin Teka. Malutong. Alat ang bago, hindi yung... Lasang probinsya! Oh. Lasang? Lasang Enlex. Parang ang cute. Ang sarap siya. Ang isaw. Ay, ang harap! Suka! Suka! Dapat... Ang sarap! Ay, di ba may nag-uwi ka mo dito sa iba may suka? Inuwi na nilang lahat yung suka. Mga bakla kayo. <laughs> Nagot kayo nung yun yung wala na si Luis. Masarap! Masarap sa Inverness! Ang sarap! Masarap! Ay, eto bawang. Bawang ba ito? Yes. Mani. Ay, mani. 
Oh my god. I'm sorry ha. Na ano ko talaga to ha. Oh, eh di buwan po talaga yan. May mga pasalubong namin dito. Box, may bawang. May di kasi ko sa bawang. Saan ito galing? Masarap itong mani. Masarap yung mani. Masarap itong mani. I don't usually like mani, pero masarap mo rin. Ibang mani. Ako, I used to like mani. Oo, when I was in my... Ano? Ipakala ko yung picture niya niya dito. Yeah. O ganito, hindi ko na ito bubuksan. Tsaka, ay, ano ito? Pastillas. Ay, pastillas. Ito yung itim para bagay sa damit. Ayan. O, ayan. O. Okay na ako. Ito lang ang ita-take home ko kasi natikman ko na. Tapos mamaya, babalikan ko ito. Akala nyo, alis ako. Babalikan ko. Babalikan niya. Well, thank you. Thank you po. Thank you. Ay, gagawin siya. Nagmano. Nagmano. Thank you. Tinuloy nga talaga. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Ingat. Thank you so much. Bye, mga naksi. Ang sarap. Ang sarap. Ang sarap niya. In fairness, nagustuhan ko yung mani. Nag-food show na lang talaga ako dito. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's it for us. That's your favorite quick stop on the way to the crown. This is your Filipino diva, Marina Summers, and this has been the stopover. Alam mo sarap talaga. Sige na babae, kaya na kaya. Ang sarap, girl.